<laughs> All right. <laughs> um, I'm originally from Ontario. I was a, I went to culinary school there, and I worked in the culinary industry for eight years. And then I, the more I started sourcing from local farms, the more I, the time I started spending my days off on farms and looking for local ingredients. And then I slowly started to realize that I really liked, I had a real passion for farming more so than I did for working in a hot kitchen all the time. Um, so I started putting a business plan together. I, I knew I wanted to raise pigs, uh, and I knew what breed of pig, it's called Berkshire pig. And um, it's a heritage breed of pig that uh, has a darker meat with more marbling. It does really well outdoors. Um, and it's just far superior than any other pork you, you can get anywhere. Uh, so I knew I wanted to raise those pigs, I just didn't know how and where and, and when. So I started Wolfing, which is uh, a volunteer program throughout the world. I did it in Canada. It stands for Willing Workers on Organic Farms. Mm -hmm. And I started traveling from Ontario east in the winter, and the plan was to go out west during the summer. I ended up in PEI in March three years ago, and I haven't left since. Uh, and and tell, <laughs> it, Roy, tell us why you haven't left. Because I met my wonderful wife in O'Leary. <laughs> and he is at a woman's retreat now, so he's saying all the right things. That's right. <laughs> and she would have loved to have been here. She's a massage therapist, and uh, she runs a very busy clinic in Montague. And uh, she, just, she had to work till 6, and she was too worn out to come, so she won't be here. Um, but anyway, we were going to go traveling through Europe to, uh, actually we were going to go wolfing through Europe. Uh, and just, we were just going to buy a van and, and travel across Europe and, and go work on different farms. And the funny thing is, neither of us grew up on farms, and we didn't know a thing about farming. Um, and then someone had approached me on the island wanting to know if I'd farm their land uh, organically. Uh, they would heard from me through some of the chefs that I was selling pigs to. And everything just sort of went from there. So now we have... Uh, We've been farming that land for two years now, and we raise about 35 to 40 pigs a year. We're certified organic, and they're raised on pasture. Um, it's an extremely humane process, and they're like our friends. Like they're like pets. You can rub their bellies, lie down beside them. Uh, it's really, really nice. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Jen never comes with me when I go to drop them off at the abattoir. <laughs> and what's the name of your firm? Uh, Three Pillars Farm. Okay. Yeah, and uh, we're just, we were, we were hoping to do a farm tour with a wagon ride, but we're in the process of buying our own farm right now, so we're kind of in between two places and it wouldn't have worked, but maybe next year we can do that. So I still do a lot of catering because it's, it makes money and mm -hmm. farming doesn't, <laughs> unfortunately. Even though we're organic and we get higher prices for our product, um, the cost of grain is a lot more expensive and our margins are really small. And also the market here is really seasonal. So to make up for that, we, we want to keep doing it because we're very passionate about it. Um, but we can't live off that. So, you know, we do, Jen does massage and then I do chefy things. Um, like tonight. That's me. <laughs> Yay!